How you doing ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics. Today we're going to be continuing with our V90 Drive video. So today's task is to start uh, prepping our drive for our position control. And a step-by-step -step guide that we are going to be going through to get our drive ready. If you missed out the last video when we have done the full uh, uh, video of uh, uh, getting the drive communicating with us uh, uh, Siemens 1500 series PLC, definitely check it out. And also there's a, a wiring video about it by, and you can access all that in a V90 a playlist that's what it's called so the that th today's task is because i'm trying to take step by step so you, so you can go from one video to another whichever video you want to watch and today we're gonna uh go step uh, step one and step two and that is going to be enabling the drive and also creating a reset drive and we're going to do all these controls from our hmi we'll have a look at the data blocks itself uh, technology blocks and things like that so you get yourself familiarized how to access and where to find all the data is required for you to really do pretty much what you want and whatever you want to achieve with your servo so uh, hopefully by the end of these videos that we finish this you're going to be well on your way to creating some cool stuff so that's what we do today so let's get started <music> So to get started, to get ourselves uh, starting, the first thing we we'll need to do, as again, I will repeat, I'm, I'm going to be doing this in my main organization blog for our uh, uh, tra tra uh, uh, training for purposes. So go into instructions, go into technology, and go into motion control. In the motion control, uh, Siemens has already have created these technology blocks that you can uh, work with to uh, control your drive. First one, MC power. Let's get that one in there. Is going to create the, the data block. Also, what it's going to do is going to create a, a function block, as you can see in here. Because it's a function block, you need to have its data block, obviously. So we're going to call this power axis one. I don't know. Well, it's not like I'm going to create several axes, but just for the purposes. And obviously, we need to tell him we, this block who's he who, who who's he controlling. So let's tell him you're going to be controlling. The position axis one so from there on as you can see we have enable start and stop and if you go click f1 by clicking on the block click f1 and it's going to open up a uh, menu manual like a so and you can read up what it is uh, all about so all we need to worry about is this enable but if you want to check out the start and stop modes do read up on it we're going to leave them as default so from there on, as you can see, enable in here. Usually, when a drive, uh, the project has been created, there could be several conditions that are need to be met before enable can be done. So let's say you have, I don't know, one open there, the open there, and I don't know, not the coil. Uh, let's say you know, uh, there could be all sorts of different conditions that be met before the drive can be enabled. To do it safely, often to do it safety for for us. We, we we don't worry about that so uh, so what we're going to do what i'm going to be doing so just that the reason i want to demonstrate so you know where to get this information as well so as you can see in here is this data block in here in that data block there is all the all the all the buttons associated uh, all the uh ios or or um, data associated with this data block can be accessed from here and interacted with it as well written and read and blah 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 so as you can see in here i've got enable in here and because i'm going to be controlling it from hmi Get back to that thingy. So I'm going to go into my HMI. Show it to you. So we're going to go to root screen. And in our root screen, I'm going to create a switch. So which is going to be our enable switch. All right. So let's go into that. Drag that into our project. And uh, I'm not going to be printing anything out. I don't know. That's, does that look good? Uh, I'll do it. So by clicking on it, so let's go into the properties. Ooh, come on, let's grab it. So let's go into the tags. So if you're wanting to get, get interact with the information in the data blocks, what you need to do, go into, it's the, it's, 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 if, if it is in the program, it, there could be in technology objects, it could be program blocks because our uh, block is in, in a programming block. So we're gonna go in there. System blocks, program resources, as you can see, that block has appeared in here, MC Power DB. So by clicking on it, as you can see, it tells you, uh, it will show you all the stuff that you can interact from HMI. So for what we need to do, what we want to do, we want to enable our drive. So click 
Okay. So, I haven't done that. Let's give him a name. So, uh, we're going to leave format as is. Title switch. We're going to call it Drive Enable. And that is it. Now, we should be able to activate that drive. So, I haven't done that. So next up, we need to create a reset button as well. So uh, let's go in network two. Move that down a little bit in here. We're gonna call it a uh, drive reset axis one. I'll do. So no fat fingers there, no. So let's go into our instructions again and grab a uh, reset block. So let's go in here. But in here again, it's going to create a as you can see in here, it's going to create another function block with its associated data block. And again, we need to tell him what axis. So we're going to position one. So execute signal, restart signal again. Let's click F1 for it so we can have a quick look at it. What it is, as you can see in here, execute with a start job with the positive edge. Uh, restart, uh, start job, when I say start job, it's probably resets, resets, resets the drive, and that's a uh, res restart, a reinitializing of the technology block object acknowledgement of pending technology allowance. The technology object is reinitialized with the configured start values. Here we go. If you want to use that, we're not going to do that because we're not going to need it for our project, but if you, again, read up for it, if you want to do, uh, um, do anything with it. So as you can see, all the other stuff, errors and commands and blah, 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 is all there for you to explain what that does. So for us, again, restart, reset is going to be done from HMI. So uh, let's go into, again, there could be conditions before you can execute uh, the uh, reset. So it could be a different for when you are looking on the projects that you're working on or as a controls engineer in your company. So be aware that before the execution can happen for the reset, there could be conditions that need to be met. So uh, let's go into our HMI. Uh, we need a, a button that this side and uh, make it I don't know why that Does that sound good does that look good uh, ah this is not uh, no uh, prettiness uh, pre pretty pretty work this is just get us a uh, get us a uh, going so let's go it's, it's gonna be press I need to do this Go into edit bits and then uh, set while a B key is pressed. So then we're going to give him a block. I keep, keep forgetting where things are. Let's go into our reset. As you can see, it took us straight there already. And we can see execute and click OK. There we go. So now, now that button is associated with that execute. So uh, in the text, we're just going to say drive reset. Drive reset there you go so i've done that so there we go now that button is associated with our drive so uh i've done that so let's load this in there we go that's getting in so i haven't done that so what we're going to do in here now we're going to load this into our a um uh, uh plc as well so so now that we've done that, so uh, let's go and have a look at it, uh, how that would work in real life now. All right, here we are. So uh, there is our uh, HMI. So this is where we have put our uh, thingy on. So let me just see how could we do this the more organized way as possible. So uh, let's turn the drive on. Here we go. You probably heard. And as you can see, the uh, drive is showing R0, so it's pretty much ready to go. So let me see if I can create a... Uh, mm, can I do the create error? So there we go, we just created an error. So we prob was uh, probably going to need a restart of this. I oh, know, here we go. And as you can see, we just have created a, a reset. So we are able to reset our drive. So by turning off, so drive is on, off. 
Oop. On. Off. And that, ladies and gentlemen, let me just swap the camera. We'll do for this video. So we've done the dry power. we done uh, a look at the data blocks. We had a... Um, I put this earphone still in me. We uh, looked at a resetting the drive itself, enable it. And so uh, for the next video, we're going to be uh, start working towards uh, getting our system home. So that's our task for the next video. So don't forget to like the video if you do like the video. And do subscribe if you're new to the channel. Without further ado. It's not without further ado. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video.